Yo, what's good everybody? It's Guy and Kicks here with another review and in today's video we're going to be talking about the latest ASICS and Bodega collaboration and the Gel MC Plus. So with that being said, let me show you guys a first look and let's get into the review. So here you have them guys, these officially released on April 29, 2022 through the Bodega website for a retail price of $150. You know, this release was actually a pretty good one. If you were someone out there who really wanted this particular sneaker, you probably had a really good chance at getting these because at least for the popular sizes, you know, they pretty much sat there throughout the day and they were pretty much there available for you to cop. You know, even now if you go to the Bodega website, you'll still be able to find some sizes available because these have yet to sell out completely. You know, when it comes to this particular a6 model it was designed by shigoyuri matsui i'm pretty sure i butchered his first name so i apologize for that he was also the creator of the gel light 3 and this particular gel mc silhouette released back in 1995 so it's definitely one of a6 classic sneakers it was created back then to be a running sneaker but a6 has pulled it out of the archives and now it's becoming more of a lifestyle shoe when it comes to the colorway on these a6 bodega was definitely inspired from going from winter times and the gray and gloomy time period into the springtime where all the beautiful colors come back to life you definitely see that on this colorway here with these really cool pastel colors that are definitely bright but not enough to really make the shoe very very loud they did a really good job of sort of muting the colorway with some of the grays here but also giving the shoe some life with these really cool colors in terms of the materials that they use on the upper of the shoe you definitely have a combination of different things from you know mesh suede uh, synthetic materials and also leather it's definitely very cool when a brand and a collaborator definitely go all in with just switching things up with the materials on the upper part of the shoe the sock lining is in that blue color which you'll find throughout the upper of the shoe the sock lining has a nice soft textile feel the insoles on these are in that orange color and then the right shoe has the bodega branding and the 15 year anniversary and then the left one has the asics and bodega branding as well on the front of the tongue you have a patch of suede and it kind of like this yellowish greenish color you have the asics brand embroidered there in like a green color as well these actually come standard with these white laces and the tips have the bodega branding but they come with two additional laces and like a darker sail white color where the tips are in purple and also a pair of orange laces where the tips are like in a turquoise color. The lace loop on these ASICs is in that orange color. The toe box on these ASICs are made primarily out of that very breathable mesh material, but you also have some suede on the mud guard, and then you have these overlays of a hairier suede uh, throughout the toe box area of the shoe. That same breathable mesh material continues almost to the mid part of the shoe as well. And then on the mid panels of the shoe, you'll find that classic Unitsika Tiger caging in like a TPU type material, and it's in a light yellow color with the edges in purple. On Underneath that, you find some perforated suede as well. The materials that they use on the ice stays on these ASICs, it's in a hairier suede material. Switching things up with the type of textures that they use on the upper here is very cool. Underneath that perforated suede, it does switch over to a different type of shade of gray in that suede material that is definitely a little bit smoother than most of the suede that you'll find throughout the upper of the shoe. And that same material goes all the way to the back of the shoe. Another little small detail that you notice on these is that blue stitching that you'll see throughout the upper of the shoe. On the heel counter, it does switch over to a hairier blue suede. Nice little detail there. You have the A6 branding embroider there as well and then on top of the heel counter on the heel there it does switch over to that nice green color or turquoise color there as well on the medial side around the mid panels of the shoe you'll notice a purple strap here this is what asics call motion control and it was actually designed for runners to reduce pronation bodega here decided to put their branding on this purple strap which is a nice cool detail underneath that again you'll find the unutsika tiger caging but here they switched up the color in the blue color and it's also in like a synthetic suede material another detail that you notice on the medial side is that the eye stays here switched to like a leather material 
and it also switches over to like that turquoise color. I really like that they did that because a lot of times the medial side just mirrors the lateral side and it's kind of boring. There's not a lot to talk about there, but on this colorway, they definitely did and they definitely switched things up, which is definitely a cool thing. When it comes to the midsole and cushioning technology on these gel MCs, they actually been updated to the gel Cumulus 17, which is actually very cool because the midsole here basically has three type of materials to kind of sandwich things together. As you can see the upper layer, it's in a different color than the bottom, but the materials are also different. And then you have that classic gel like material in the middle here. It's definitely going to give you some really good comfort, a nice bouncy feel, but not too soft or not too mushy. They definitely did a good job here with this cushioning technology. And then they also features what ASICs call the impact guidance system. In the middle here, you do have like this plastic caging there to provide support and stability. The shoes come in this custom ASICs and bodega box. Obviously you have the cardboard color, but then some purple throughout the box. And then here you have the official tag in SKU. So when it comes to sizing, I went true to size in a size 10. So to give you an example, like a Nike React and Adidas Ultra Boost, for example, those I go at size 10 and I did the same thing with these. When it comes to comfort guys, these are definitely very comfortable. Obviously you have a really cool stylish sneaker with the nice color, but they also gonna be very comfortable. These also have ortholite insoles as well. So this cushioning system and everything like that combined is definitely gonna give you some really good all day comfort for sure. And before I forget, these also come with this really cool keychain. Bodega branding and ASICS branding here as well. All right, guys, so to conclude this video, when I first saw pictures of these, when Bodega started posting them on Instagram, I immediately was like, I gotta get those. I definitely like these a lot. These are not a super hype sneaker and I don't care about that, but these, when I first saw them, the colorway, I felt like it was dope. I mean, me personally, I don't really like, you know, those bright pastel colors, but I feel like Bodega did a really good job in choosing the right colors, but also, you know, giving it enough gray to kind of mute the brightness of those bright colors. So I think they did a really good job in balancing things out. You know, I don't have a ton of A6 sneakers, but when they do collabs like these, you know, it's definitely refreshing to have something different in the collection. And you know, A6 is gonna deliver when it comes to comfort. And once again here with this silhouette, they knock it out of the park. And as you guys know, I love New Balance a lot. So when it comes to suede, you know, I get a little nitpicky when it comes to that. So the suede here, you know, it definitely feels synthetic throughout most of the suede that they use here, you know, but even though it's synthetic suede, it still feels pretty good. That almost feels like the real thing. You know, overall, the construction is done very well. The shoe feels pretty good that it's gonna last you a long time. You know, there are some like glue stains here and there, but nothing to really worry about. You know, the midsole is nicely put together with the upper of the shoe. So no complaints here when it comes to the construction and feel of the shoe. So overall, guys, nice job by Bodega and Asics for working on this collaboration. Like I said, these colors are like spot on. You know, I'm definitely going to try my best to wear these a lot during the remaining springtime and then summer months because these are ideal for that time of the year. So with all that being said, guys, let me put these bad boys on and show you guys how they look on feet. So that's it for me guys. Hopefully this video brought you a detailed look of the A6 Gel MC Plus and Bodega collaboration. Let me know in the comments below how you feel about these. Do you think this is a dope collab by Bodega and A6? And like always guys, thank you so much for tuning in. To anybody new to the channel, this is your first time watching this video. I appreciate that. If you like the video, definitely feel free to subscribe. Hit that like button as well. I'll leave a link to my Instagram page below where you guys can go follow me there as well. I like to share links to any, you know, restocks or shock drops or anything like that or any stories within the sneaker community as well. And that's it, guys. Catch you guys in the next one. Peace.